about Utah, the land of industry? Seriously, that's the state motto. It's represented as a beehive, and it's on the state's flag. Yeah, I don't get it either. But Utah is beautiful. I've lived in California over 30 years, and I just visited Utah for the first time in May of 2021. It's an amazing place. The landscapes, the national parks, the outdoors, the land that doesn't require masks while you sleep. Yeah, it's a great place. We decided to plan our trip in the winter to avoid the crowds. Zion will allow you to drive your own car on the Zion Canyon Scenic Road because there's no shuttle service in the winter. Check with the park to see the times of the year that you could do this. We went on January 29th, 2022. They will close the road when all the parking lots are full and it will typically stay closed the rest of the day. Drive all the way to the end of the park to the Temple of Sinawana, however you pronounce it. This way you'll ensure that you see everything because the scenic road can get closed right at the Zion Lodge. So when there's too many cars, they won't allow you to go beyond that point. So this is the start of the Narrows right here. We saw a lot of people with their waders on so going into the icy water, so uh, no thanks. We took our time coming back and attempted to stop at each turnout. Most of them were not too busy. You could get out and walk around. Keep in mind that some of the walking paths might be icy and or have snow as the sun does not shine in some parts of the canyon at all during that time of year. Hiking boots or very grippy shoes are recommended. The Virgin River snakes its way through the canyon and the scenic road runs alongside. The only pullout that was essentially busy or probably busy all year round is the one for the Angels Landing hike. We did not stop at that part of the trip. We weren't interested in actually doing that hike, or let me put it this way, I wasn't interested in doing that hike. So we parked a little further down and got this shot of the river. We spent about four total hours in the park. Towards the end, we did pull off near the Court of the Patriarchs and did a little exploring. There's a water tank located just off the road and there's a cool walking path if you venture back there. The, the path goes a little further into the canyon. This is video that we shot and some photos. We didn't walk much further than this, but you can get all the way to the sand beach trail from this path. We've been to Zion about five times. We drove through the park uh, three times in two days back in the March of 2021 trip. I highly recommend that you get an America the Beautiful Pass. Just going to Zion on Bryce Canyon would pay, would almost pay for the $80 per year cost of the card. And in 2021, when we visited the first time, we did Zion, Bryce, Cedar Break. That's the National Monument. You don't need the card there. Capitol Reef, Arches, and then hit the Grand Canyon on the way back. So we really packed it in. And with five, I think I believe five national parks in Utah alone, it would pretty much pay for itself the second time you use it. This wrapped up day one of our long Utah weekend. Stay tuned for day two in Bryce Canyon. Thanks for watching.